G'day guys, how you going? It's the Cider here, and today we're going to be looking at mechanics in Last Man Standing. So pretty much, what this video is going to be is mechanics in Last Man Standing, but it's a PvP game mode, so it's going to be like just a lot of PvP game mode mechanics kind of things that you might already know, but there's also LMS exclusive things in here as well. There's going to be, there's going to be a thing up on screen of all the things that we're going to be covering. The first thing we're going to talk about is game ticks. So what is a game tick? A game tick is, I'm going to loosely dis define what it is, it's going to be a every time an event happens in game, it's always on a game tick. A game tick happens every 0.64 seconds in the game. So if I click here and back, back and forth, every time I move back and forth, that's another game tick. Eventually you get a sensibility of what you can do on certain game ticks in the game and things like how many game ticks it takes to get from one place to another so let's say you're a little bit out of range of an opponent and you'd be like oh it'll take me about three game ticks to get over there you just kind of get a feel for the game ticks over time and how you're positioned in the game also like it has a lot to do with switching as well like how many switches can you do in two game ticks I don't know maybe you could do an eight way if you're pretty good some people can do an 8 way one, 1 tick, but you'd have to be pretty bionic to do that though. Now let's talk about freeze timers. So, a freeze timer is basically when you get barraged or you barrage someone, and you're going to be frozen for 20 seconds. Yeah, you probably already know this if you play LMS. Now I just, I want to talk about the refreeze timer, because this is often, I find a lot of people don't know about this, even experienced PKs. And, to get a refreeze, it's three seconds after they are able to move that you can get the refreeze again. It's not three game ticks, it's three seconds. So it the event will happen on a game tick, like when you refreeze it will happen on a game tick, but you have to wait three seconds. So if you've only waited two seconds and they're unfrozen and you get a refreeze on them, that will not refreeze them and they can still move so you have to you kind of have to count the seconds in your head simultaneously as you're playing on game ticks when when someone becomes unfrozen okay so next is pj timers pretty much what a pj timer is is the amount of time it takes to attack another player after your fight's over or your player has unfortunately ran so far away from you that you can't find him anymore but that doesn't happen too often unless you're good at keeping on someone's tail. Anyways, so after your fight's over, it takes 20 seconds until you can hit the next person. And it takes the other person, I think it's like 25 to 30 seconds to hit you after the fight's over. So you get a little bit more breathing time. So you, you can get the first hit after you finish a fight technically, which is good. Do keep in mind though that if someone else just finished a fight and you're waiting for the next fight to start that they get the first hit. So yeah, just heads up. Alright, so a bit about the fog now. The fog... You don't want to stay in the fog for really any time. You, the only reason you should probably step out in the fog is like if there's Morgan's Javelins out there or something and not too far. It really depends on the situation. Like, let's say you do see a great item like a VLS or Morgan Javelins and you're like, Ooh, I could really pick those up. Well, why not go for it if you're only going to take like 10 damage? But if you're, if you're sacrificing, what, like 100 damage or something just to get Morgan's Javelins, I don't think it's worth it. So the way fog works is over time it gets progressively worse. So at the start of the game it might only hit 1s, 2s and 3s. And then by the end of it, it's going to stack you 10s. Moving on to eating timers. So you can eat food every 3 ticks. There are combo eats, but that's just... I've covered that in a previous episode. But yeah, I may as well cover, cover it again. So combo eat is when you eat a shark then a caramel. You'll see it in the next clips. Anyways, so you can eat every 3 ticks, you can eat a shark with a 2 tick del delay between your attacks, 
So if you have a four tick weapon on, like a dragon scimitar or a whip, it it means uh, it will take you six ticks to do your next attack after you've done your next recent attack with that two tick delay. So then shark plus caravan, that's a four tick delay. And plus that with maybe like a whip for a four tick attack, it will take you eight ticks to do your next attack. A shark and a shark is also a four tick delay. And a shark and a shark and a shark, three sharks is a five tick delay. But you always have to consider the fact that the most previous weapon you hit with, if, you, if you're still in your cooldown mode, you still have to count down the, the ticks that you drew for cooldown and add that on top of how long the delay is for eating. Uh, for your next attack, that is, yep. Alright, let's talk a bit about hit range. So, that is how far you can hit people from with certain weapons. With melee, it's you have to be right next to them. You can't be a corner across from them, you have to be right next to them. And for range, I can't tell you how many tiles it is, but it's, it's far enough, but mage hits from a bit further. The reason why I'm not going to tell you how many tiles it is, but I'm going to tell you what it's relative to, is because realistically in a PvP setting, you're not going to be counting tiles. You're going to be going off a of feeling. So when you feel you're in your, in your range, you might just be one or two out sometimes. And then you've got a few options. You can flick to long range and that usually solves the issue. Or you can mage them. Because if you're both frozen really far away, that technically means that you can keep throwing barrages at each other. Barrage is the furthest attack you can do in the game. Then it's long range. And Armadale Crossbow has quite a quite a long range attack. I think the armadal crossbow has the same range as the rune crossbow on long range. So keep that in mind as well when you're when you're playing the game. Okay, so we're here at the moments to give a little demonstration about what I mean when I say um stacking with barrages and melee. So if I go straight up to a mammoth and I barrage it and then I melee it, you see how long the it takes for the melee hit to show up after the barrage is because the barrage is showing up very um early if you barrage from very far away like let's go straight out of range catch the barrage oh wait no i'm on a bit of an angle bear with me so over here let's catch the barrage and now go in for the spec and you'll see it'll come up on like almost the same tick it was one tick apart so that's how stacking works, so if you ever find yourself in a barrage fight, you can kind of like do this, then step back, do this, and then come up, pray your piety, and destroy them, like that. That was, yeah, that was a good example of it. Okay, so I'm in my house at the combat dummy, and that's because I want to show you a couple things. It's going to cover two things real quick. Firstly, we're going to cover special attacks, with a special attack bar on your previous weapon. So here we have a staff, some staffs in the game, well only one staff in the game, it's the staff of the dead, it has a special attack on it, I oh, actually know that and the volatile, so two of them do, they have, they have a special attack on it, and what that means is, when you switch to your next weapon, that special attack bar stays there, which is great, but you see how this weapon over here, it's just a random weapon that I found in my bank, it doesn't have a special attack bar, so when I switch to a weapon with a special attack, it takes time for it to come up, and that actually slows down how fast you can special attack, you can't do it instantly. And what I mean by instantly is called a zero tick. So what a zero tick is, is pretty much the ability to switch your weapon and attack on the same game tick. So let's just do this real quick into an AGS. So I gotta count the ticks to get this right. See that? See how the the Armadale God Sword it um it came out on the same tick that it attacked. Well, that's called a zero tick, and you, it's really hard to predict those. Now let's do it with a special attack. So I got my staff on because it has a special attack bar on it. 
I don't know if I got that right. I might try it again. Yeah, there we go. That was it. So you see how I special attacked on the on the same tick that I brought out my Armadale God Sword? You can't do that with a Gothic Staff, and I'll just quickly get my spec back so I can show you. Bear with me. So here we have the staff on. I'm gonna count my ticks. See, it took another tick extra because it takes a while for the special attack to show up. And that's why. That's it. There's the difference between a zero tick and a one tick for you. Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. That was all the things that we covered. Yeah, like we said at the introduction. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Stick around for more videos. Just drop a subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And like the video if you like it. Alright, take care guys. Good luck playing LMS. Have fun. Peace.